Do you remember the day when Spock the Terry got called out by Atari, Stories and Pentagrin? The trio who tried ruining a teen's life because he was just being a horny teen. He did blame it all on the hormones. Curse you hormones! But that doesn't matter. Then, Ponder and P.K. Russell came into the picture and debunked everything. Atari betrayed stories and Pentagrin, who backpedaled away from YouTube. But it doesn't end there, because Pentagrin is back! <laughs> There was once a time when Spockter, Stories, Atari and Pentagram were all friend and everything was cool. But that's in the past. As you know, friendship never lasts. Hello there. My name is Enrage, while others calls me Crash. And I was taking a vacation from YouTube. <laughs> and then this happened. Pentagrin returned with a video. A really bad apology video that makes no sense. Her excuses are so bad that it actually makes everything worse. Instead of being sorry, she keeps blaming stories for everything. Let's watch the video together. Instead of Penta's black screen, I'm going to be putting on some gameplay. Right, okay, this is completely unscripted and unedited audio. There's gonna be no fucking visuals at all, cause, uh, why? And yeah, okay, let me just, let me just start straight from the beginning. I am fucking sorry for what's happened here because it legitimately wasn't supposed to come to something like this. Um, whether or not you want to accept that, whatever. I mean, if you want to accept it, that's fine. But if you don't, well, it's my fucking fault anyway. But hopefully today i'm gonna just explain how everything happened i can't really explain why it happened because not even i fucking know um but i'm just gonna fucking say everything how it happened from start to finish and hopefully you'll understand where i'm coming from and why it happened on my end it, uh, fuck sorry you really <laughs> think an unscripted so apology like, is the way to go um, if anything you should have fucking contacted Spockter instead of making a public apology. I mean, you had a DM with Fego, so what's stopping you from contacting Spockter? And just, who the fuck cares about a visual on a fucking apology video? It's not about making the video look good. It's about expressing yourself and not half-assing it. What part of it don't you understand? Right, so... Obviously, you might not think there's an excuse for how long this has taken me to actually come out with, and yeah, okay, that is completely and utterly understandable. I've been unwell, my family's been unwell, and by the time that I was better enough to do this, I kind of sat back and thought, is it even worth it at this point? Am I just gonna fucking dig my own grave up again and just fucking lie in it? Like... Did you just say that it took you this long to make the video because you and your family was on welfare? Are you mentally ill? That is one of the worst excuses I've ever heard so far. I am sorry. I can't apologize to you because I am on welfare. Bitch, please. I've been living on welfare for over five years and it has not stopped me from making videos. And I've been making videos since I was 13. So that's not a good enough reason for you to not uh, apologize. Uh, I don't I don't know it, it, I don't know whether it was worth coming back and doing this but honestly for my sake for everyone else's sake um, we need some closure here because misinformation is still going around now about everything that's happened um, and I don't really want this to be a defense of myself I don't really want to defend myself here um, how do I put this it, it's gonna sound terrible however I say it but most of the blame can be sent to stories because legitimately she's the one who's kind of concocted this lie and has went with it for so long. 
And I know it sounds terrible because I'm here and she's not and I'm just pushing the blame on someone who isn't here. And yeah, okay, that's understandable. You can think like that if you want. But given how everything's happened, hopefully you can kind of see from my perspective why she's the one to blame. Oh god, I can't do this unscripted. I'm sorry. Uh... S-M-H. I, I can't fucking believe it. You're already pushing the blames onto stories. It is as much as your fault as stories, because you were stupid enough to actually believe stories and go through with her plan. I guess the same can be said for Atari then. But at least Atari was sorry and actually helped out by confirming that you guys use spiked screenshots, so Atari is innocent. And if it wasn't for Atari, you guys might actually have gotten away with it too. Right, okay, okay. To take it from the beginning, I was running that ARG. The whole point of this ARG was it was going to be quite dark, quite mysterious, and the build-up was going to keep going and going and seemingly getting more severe and more severe and until the fucking video came out and it was just going to be a complete piss take. Um, I think I've told a few people this, but it was just going to be a... Just a bit of fun, you know what I mean? Just something to finally step away from the community and start my own shit by just taking the piss out of the community as a whole before moving on. So, while that was going on, maybe it was fucking stupid of me to do this whole dark aesthetic thing, but that's generally how ARGs go, so that's my defence in that. So maybe it was my fault that it was fucking stupid, and I, I don't know, oh god. Sorry. Yeah, sure. Because that's the best way to call someone out for something they didn't do. Sure, it was just a build-up. But if that's your way of taking a piss on a situation by ruining someone's life, then something is truly wrong with you. It's no wonder why no one likes you anymore. Uh, but the X came to me first. It wasn't stories that came to me first. And I haven't kept up to date with anything that's come out recently because I just literally fucking left completely to do my own shit in real life. So I don't know where the ex comes into this, if the ex was even a real person to begin with or whether it was just someone messing about. So the ex comes to me with these accusations. Oh my God, Spock does a creep. He's doing all this to me. He did this to me like however many years ago it was. And they give me about five or six really out of context screenshots. And it was literally just like one message on Skype, a pair screenshot. So I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, hmm, okay, this person's obviously thought that I'm doing some big exposing video and they just want to throw evidence at me. And I remember saying to them, well, this was years ago and you know what I mean? It's, it might not be relevant, you know, okay. Um, like, I already had my gripes about this whole draw my face owner sexily competition and that kind of just solidified that, oh, this guy's a pervert, okay. So... I remember saying to them, you know, if anything else comes out, I will use these screen caps, you know, and that was that. Um, that didn't really go anywhere. Um, that person, I think as well, also was the one who came out with the comments that he was transphobic. And I, don't, I, th I think I'd seen screen caps in the past from other YouTubers, but even then I was like, uh, you, know, you, you can't really say anything because you don't have like substantial proof of it so I just kind of left that to slide and then about two or three days later I think was it two or three days or was it a while later stories comes along and she just slides into my dms on discord and is like hey um this guy's really trying to get on me and I was like what you know <laughs> and like yeah, okay, call me fucking stupid for believing her, but I'd believed her until this point. And honestly, I wasn't that close to her. And I know people have this um, this image that I was very close to her, but I legitimately wasn't. The only times we ever spoke was on like Atari's podcast she was trying to do at the time. And that was literally it. Like, we memed a lot. And I think because people only see these outward interactions, they assume that inside it was also very close and, you know, 
and it genuinely wasn't. It was very, we'd speak to each other like once a week and even then it would just be, hi, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, I'm doing this video. Oh, okay, nice, and that would be it. So to have someone come in and start telling me that they're basically being sexually harassed, I was like, wow, okay. Do you have any evidence of this? And then she starts flinging all this evidence at me. So I just, I think if I remember correctly, I went to hit up Atari and I told her about it. And she was also like, oh shit. But we waited ages. We did wait a long, long time because we were like, you need to go out and say something stories. We can't fucking do it. But this evidence started mounting up and then I was eventually like, you know what, if this is as fucking serious as stories is making it out to be, we're gonna have to do something. You know, we're gonna have to make a warning because in that time something else could happen and blah 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 blah. So we went out and made these videos with the evidence that stories had gathered and we were still sitting there saying, stories, you know, you need to fucking do something, you need to present this evidence if it's legitimate. So she's like, okay, I'll fucking record the conversations I've had. I'll just get a screen record and I'll go through it. And we thought at that time that that was the most legitimate way to present it. And I didn't think that could be faked, okay? I'll, I'll be honest, I didn't think that someone with the fucking video editing capacity that Stories had would be able to fake that because that's a hard thing to fake, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I mean, to be able to pull off that fake in such a legitimate manner was impressive, but so it came the day that we uploaded and we basically said, okay, we all gonna do this at once. Stories are like, okay, no, I'm in school. I'll do it afterwards. So both Atari and I uploaded on the day. It wasn't supposed to be like that. She was supposed to upload first, but we ended up uploading together on the day. I can't remember when Stories video came out. It was either later that day or a few days later. And the way she was acting about the whole thing was very real. Um. She was very apprehensive, you know, oh, what if people don't believe me? What if this happens? What if this happens? And I, because of those reactions, I thought it was real, okay? I mean, I thought it was real from the get-go because one, why would you lie about it, you know? Um, and two, if I was in that situation, I would want everyone to believe me. You know, if I, if I truly believed I was being sexually assaulted, I would want everyone to believe me. So I gave her the benefit of the doubt. Um, so yeah, I, I, that's kind of how it happened, right? And I don't know whether I went into complete detail there or whether I missed out like a big chunk, but everything past that, I've only heard from other people. So I do not know how legitimate it is. And if this has taught me anything, it's don't fucking believe anyone online. I mean, granted that was a story that everyone is supposed to know anyway, but you know, sexual assault, I'm like, Ugh. so yeah. um. I don't know whenever I should laugh or cry in this situation. You are really dumb. You would rather believe two people that you have never really spoken to instead of Spockter, who was your friend at the time. You could have slid into his DMs alongside Atari and gone like, Hey man, is this true? Instead of going, Ah, <laughs> monster. Have you ever heard a saying? Don't believe anyone on the internet? No? Because you and Atari fell victim to that. How does it feel? Awful, isn't it? Maybe that was too long. Maybe that was such a big ramble. But there's a few other things I want to say. Um, number one, I didn't call him a paedophile. Um, I knew he was underage, so why the fuck would I call him a paedophile? I mean, so there's that. Um, ironically, the people saying I call him a paedophile are also believing random people online for no fucking reason that have no evidence. But I said I wasn't going to go there. Um, it is really funny how you say that. You also fell victim to the very case of believing people on the internet. Look at what happened to you. You ended up making your own grave. I find that to be really ironic. Right, so there's that. Uh, I, I just I just want to be I just want to say I'm sorry because you know and I know there's no excuse for how long it's taken me to say it and I know I'm not expecting anyone to forgive me because well I fucked up I did the biggest fucking fuck up that one fucking person could fucking do and I, I, I want to say I'm sorry and if there was if there's anything that I could possibly do to make it up to anyone I will fucking do it you know I'll, I'll fucking 
I'll, I'll buy a pair of stocks and stand in a fucking village like the, vid the village idiot because that's how I fucking feel. And t to have all this fucking caused by someone who just wanted to fucking take someone down. And I know people think that's me, but like, uh, it's just, I've been played, that's it. And if I honestly could ask stories anything, it would be why. Like, I'm angry at her, but I don't have the right to be as angry as everyone else is because I fucking believed her. And it, I just, I don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm fucking sorry. And I know people are gonna be like, oh, you sound so insincere, but I am. I, I don't, I don't know. There is one thing you can do for everyone, and that's to disappear forever. Never come back as Pentagrin. The name is officially dead. If anything, come back at someone else and never mention who you used to be. It is for your own good. The damage you and Story did can't be fixed no matter how much you try. If you were her sooner, then maybe it could have been solved. But now it's way too late. I speak from personal experience of something that once happened over nothing. Trust me, it never ends well. There is a reason why you have to be careful of who you trust. Uh, I just wanna, I just wanna fucking say I'm sorry. Um, I don't know what else to say though. If you wanna fucking talk to me, um, if if anyone who's been affected wants to talk to me and wants to go over things, then they're more than welcome to. But I'm not expecting anyone to fucking wanna talk to me after this because. Uh, you know, oh my god. So, yeah, um, I just, I just, oh. And I know there's absolutely no reason for why it took me so long to say this, but one, I wanted everything to kind of die down for a start. Um, I don't know if it did or if it didn't because I've not followed anything. So, <laughs> right. Um, yeah. This channel, I don't know what I'm doing with because obviously, as I said, I've got real life things going on. Um, I'm going to put comment review on so I'm forced to read every single comment. And if there's anything specific about this that anyone wants to ask me, please just tell me because I'll actually reply. I'm going to be, I'm being as honest as I possibly fucking can. I know you have no fucking reason to believe me at this point, but I am. And I think knowledge is the best way to get over something if everyone knows exactly how everything's happened and why it's happened and why we're at this point i think that helps because it stops other people from making these mistakes and i hope to god no one ever makes these mistakes and i hope to god that no one's ever in the shoes where it's been thrown at them because no one fucking deserves to be slandered as much for something they didn't do right um so yeah, this has gone on for a bit too long now and it's probably just me repeating myself. So I am going to say goodbye and if you want to ask me anything, fucking do it. I mean, I might not be able to get back to you straight away, but I'm here and I'm around and my Twitter will be in the description and so will my Tumblr because I am focusing more on art right now than anything else. So thank you for watching. I hope you get where I'm coming from here and I hope that maybe you'll be able to forgive me. If not, it's not a problem. Just keep out of my fucking way. Thank you. Um, goodbye. Just be gone already. There's nothing you can say that will fix the situation. On the bright side, at least you're willing to talk about it. But nothing good will come from it since we already know the truth of what happened. When I first heard that she was back, I was laughing because there was no way in hell that Pentagrin would return, I thought. But here she is, back in the flesh. That's just fucking peachy. This whole situation is fucking peachy. I guess now Ponder will be making part 3. That once again is around 2 hours or less. I don't know how she does it, but kudos to her for making such a good job on covering everything.
Ah, I, I guess it's been ages. Ages since I made a video about drama on my channel. I haven't been motivated to make boring videos from the past. What I don't get is why people are willing to watch it. Eh, it doesn't matter. Is there anything I should mention? Ah, uh, yes. I am slowly returning, and thanks to Nika for making this amazing gift for my birthday. As for my tie, <laughs> I can't actually find it funny enough. Which is why I have stopped using it for my uh, character. If you guys want to make fan art of Enrage, aka Crash, then please tag me at Twitter at 1amcrash and I'll show it at the end of the next video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have the time, please leave a comment down below. Any criticism is accepted. I don't cherry pick out comments. I give out heart to the people I think deserve it. Goodbye, my loyal dreamers. Cure, blimey mate. I just wanted to get this video out before the Big Bang hit. Yes, you're absolutely right.